Hey everyone, so here's a problem I run into every once in a while, and that's the transition between the bottom of the base and the floors. They had the, re the floors redone here, and unfortunately they didn't, the floor guys didn't remove the base, they just sanded into the bottom. So I'm going to fix it by using caulk, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to start by taking some safe release tape. This is Scotch's 280, the low adhesion, delicate surface edge lock tape, my favorite by far. And then we're going to tape up a space for the caulk. Okay, so you'll notice that I've come up above the grooves that were caused by the sanding disc. Okay, so I'm coming up above that. And then I'm coming away, you see from the top here, I'm coming away from the base because I want to create a space, right, for my caulk bead. You don't want to be too close to the base and you don't want to be too close when you to the floor, right? You don't want a really tight caulk bead in this scenario. You want it to be a little bit larger and it'll be fine in the scheme of things. You're never going to know the difference, okay? So what I have here is a brush, a dust brush, I'm, so to clean out the, the crack there, uh, a wet rag, a dry rag, and then this is really important. I'm using a caulk that actually matches the color of the floor. Now I know that there are going to be painters and people out there who, th who use white caulk here in this scenario. I do not, do not, do not, do not like the way that that looks. I think that this looks better. The white looks like the floor has been painted, and to me that just looks really, really tacky. So, so caulk here, right? And you want to wipe it out. You don't want to wipe it all out, but you want to create a nice smooth surface. And I'm wiping my finger off, and then I'll do one more run. All right. And you want to make sure that you can't see through the caulk, right? If you see through the caulk, that means you've taken too much caulk out. All right. Now, this is really, really important. You want to make sure that you remove the tape as soon as possible. If you don't, the caulk will start to dry, and it will create a bridge between the tape and the caulk, and then it will create a jagged edge when you pull it, and it will look awful, right? So... Okay, so here you go. I just really think that that looks so much nicer and cleaner. And again, if you do the white, the white, then the white looks like it's been painted on the floor. And I just don't think that that's a good look. I think this look is a lot better. Again, it's very subjective, but I, I just really like the way that this looks. Okay, so that's the end there. And then there's one other spot in this house. So you can see with the risers and the steps here next to the skirt board that there is a there's that crack there and I'm gonna fix it because I think this looks awful you go through all this trouble to try to do a decent paint job and then that this ruins it right and this just makes it look that much better okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna tape it up I know I know I'm sorry I know I'm asking you guys to do a lot more work the, taping around the bull nose was kind of a pain but again to do a really quality job, you have to kind of put in the effort to do these little things. Remember, it's your house, right? You want it to look amazing. So I, I really recommend that you spend the time and do this. It just, I think it makes all the difference in the world. All right, so now that I've got it taped up, we're gonna start the caulking. Now, um, so you'll notice here that the, I'm doing a terrible job caulking there. <laughs> Fix that in a second. That's much better. Okay, that's the way you want to do it. All right, uh, I don't know if you notice here, but I'm also actually using a different caulk, and that's because the steps in this area are actually lighter than the other room that I was doing. So what I did is I changed caulk colors because of this this color works better. All right. So once again, apply your caulk, clean it out the best you can. You want to make sure that you don't pull too much of it back out. You don't want to be able to see through it. Okay. Take your rag, wipe your finger, and just keep going back and forth with it until you're satisfied. All right. All right, and then of course you want to pull it while it's still wet. Well, the caulk is still wet, okay? Now you notice I, I got a little caulk there behind the tape uh, bet, um, between the uh, riser and the step. I'm not too worried about that. In the scheme of things, when it dries, it's gonna be just fine, so. If it bothers you, you could take a putty knife and wrap a wet rag around it tightly and then just kind of scoop it out of there if it bugs you. So small things like this, I'm telling you, it's the key to the game. Keep paint off of stuff, create really clean straight lines, do stuff like this. It just makes a world of difference in the paint job. Okay, so there you go. I, in the scheme of things, this just looks so much nicer and cleaner to me. It just makes the paint job just look that much better. Okay, if you like this video, I hope you think about giving me a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, I hope you think about subscribing. Okay, thanks a lot.